Hello everyone and welcome. It's waning games today. There was a lot of stuff to show off. A lot of stuff. Now this is after I've came back from visiting my sister and this is about uh, two other weeks of pickups. That's uh, stuff I got visiting my sister and uh, just my recent thrifting uh, yesterday of this recording. And there's a lot of stuff here, some of my pre-orders that I've gone and things I've been looking for and just a lot of different things. So, um, Dragon Quest Heroes came out recently and got this very nice little cloth that's uh, the advertising, which uh, I have a piece of GameStop merch that had this artwork on it too, but this is very nice. Uh, it'd be nice if it had like a little mini flag piece that so you could like hang it easier. Uh, it's basically the material that those uh, scrolls are made of, just without the scrolls. So if you have like the top and bottom, you could just replace it. But it's very nice. I, I will have to find somewhere to put it. Because Dragon Quest is good stuff. Good stuff. So I'm going to sit that way too. Which, of course, speaking of Dragon Quest, I got the day one edition of Dragon Quest Heroes. I did a stream of it yesterday, and I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, again, like Hyrulean Warriors so far, it seems like a very nice, refreshing change of Dynasty Warriors formula. And man, there's, there's a lot of stuff here. I, I got stuff everywhere, so I have to try and kind of organize. Oh my goodness. <laughs> organize all this. Yeah. Because I got a lot of stuff I gotta do too, so let's try to stick to new stuff. So, um, I also, and I actually opened this one because I plan on trying it out when I get some free time. Because I've been hearing a lot of criticism for this game. A lot of people have been calling it a really horrible, bravely default whipoff. Uh, Atlas bought us this game, and um, if I remember correctly, some of the people who made uh, the Saga games worked on this. And what it looks like to me is a bunch of people who've never played a Saga game, and they're only familiar with the most generic Japanese RPG mechanics so like the saga games are way different if you're thinking you're just gonna go one out and battle shit I mean in Saga Frontier uh, Battling can actually work against you as it makes monsters even stronger after doing so many fights So technically it's like a system that um, disencourages you from uh, level grinding because it, you need to do some of it to get techniques but if you do too much of it all the enemies are going to massively level up because you're fighting too many of them so all the saga games have been very odd for the time period so uh, I'm going to chalk that up probably as crazy people who don't want to learn new stuff but I have to try it first before I can do that uh, I haven't opened yet because I haven't played the other games and I'm probably not going to play it yet until they come out they're going to get DRM free PC versions going to Xseed or they plan on having DRM free versions because they did so far so for most of their um, PC releases but I did get the uh, Corpse Poly Blood Drive because I definitely want to encourage uh, more physical versions of the games and when I get around to trying it we will whip open or maybe I'll do because I've gotten several little special things and some of them I haven't opened and maybe I'll just do one and show off a lot of them because I, I just haven't gotten around to playing a lot of them uh, it's pretty hefty and it has a lot of nice little goodies in it yeah. moving on moving on so much so much stuff everywhere let's see uh brothers a tale of two sons i picked up when i saw it uh i recently did a stream of that also uh this weekend and um it's pretty short i'll be doing a review on it it's okay it's only 20 bucks so eh. Well, we'll get that when we talk about that. Uh, of course, a limited edition a lot of you probably have been looking for. This one is definitely open. I definitely took this with me uh, when I went to go visit my sister. Dancing all night. I got the uh, big uh, disco uh, fever edition, which is a nice big hefty little box. It had a little paper showing all the goodies on the side. And I'm going to actually show those off. But uh, I haven't... Uh, did use the DLC code in it yet, which, uh, yeah, I have it facing that way, so I'm not going to show the inside, but um, definitely enjoying the game so far. Uh, I wanted to unlock more music so far. I have uh, only so much. I only dabbed in the story a little bit. 
Because I'm debating, because I plan on getting a P uh, PlayStation TV uh, this year. They're really cheap, and I'm hoping to get a good deal on one during Black Friday. And um, I've been talking about how I've been uh, wanting to get a HD capture device uh, this year, which is also something I'm looking into. So I'm actually debating about, you know, uh, doing like a stream or live play or that, that in its contents over here. Uh, get a little teddy golden little keychain bit here. It's nice and gold. It's pretty, uh, pretty little thick piece of metal though. If it, it will focus though. The one's lovable, unbearable friend. Uh, a Vita skin that goes over your Vita. A physical soundtrack. Um, I hope this has all the music. Uh, it says original soundtrack, so it looks like it's all of it. It doesn't say it, because a lot of Atlas's soundtracks have been more samples recently. And then uh, there is this Vita case. Uh, Personal Q also came with a case for the 3DS. Uh, these are these are much softer, but if you don't have a case, they work. But uh, I don't really plan on using it. I have hard cases to uh, protect my systems, but also, uh, but it is a nice, very nice little a little uh, design thing but sadly if you use it you know it's sure you're going to get damaged a lot which is always of course the shame with that kind of thing um i did also get the new um edition of uh, <clears throat> uh you know <laughs> uh which i've been playing the uh first one recently of this um since uh, as many of you know i have recently uh unlocked um the Ouija lock on my 3DS using the uh, method with the uh, Cube Ninja, and I've been trying out the Force game. Uh, I tried to load the Vita game, hadn't gone too far in that. Uh, when I got around with that, I was like, well, I, I might as well play the Force game before I move on that. So I've been working on that, and uh, it's pretty much just a very simplistic side scrolling beat em up style game. Ooh. With, um, <coughs> gentleman thing. Uh, and uh, leave it at that, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. I want to try and th show all the stuff I got when I went to my sister's all together here. Oh my god, so much, so much, so much. Uh, some random little knickknacks I got actually um, from the person I actually do. Um, th uh, I I trade a lot of the GameStop stuff. I don't keep for that um he had a person give him a crap load of japanese stuff uh and he actually gave for free uh he gave me one can of potion this was for decidia uh for the psp's advertising and then with uh final fantasy uh, th uh 10 11 uh 12 advertisement uh a potion drink and eh, if i can get this out here this off. Uh, the bottom part of this bottle is actual, and these aren't open by the way, just to state. Uh, the bottom part is actual glass, but the top part is just a plastic cap covering a uh, little uh, screw off. Um, but uh, that's actually a nice little, just a uh, little thing to get. Uh, I've seen the weird commercials, you can look them up on YouTube, of uh, advertising all these potion items that they made. Um, I never thought I'd ever see one in person, so that was actually kind of a nice little gift he gave me, so. Uh, a slight trade, uh, was kind of originally a gift, but it kind of ended up being a trade uh, with uh, one of my viewers. Uh, he was moving, and he had a bunch of PC games he didn't have any interest in keeping. Now, sadly, of course, with most PC games, you know, most of them usually are one-time uses. But I told them, you know, worst case scenario, um, you know, if, like, either a DRM free version ever pop crops up, or I can make use, like, definitely the Witcher. I have a DRM free version of the Witcher on the PC, so I can definitely make use of that. And I could use the cases of that for other things, you know. I, I can do stuff with them without having them to go to a landfill or something, because, sadly, that is the fate of a lot of PC, modern PC games a lot of times. Um, I'd have to look up which ones might actually still be usable without codes or something like that. Um, and he got um, two Disney Affinity guides that were damaged, but they only cut it into uh, like the Kyoto stuff. Uh, three Disney Affinity uh, discs that I found, and uh, I gave him two D 
DS cases. He won a Kono Triggle case I had uh, that had no damage to the alt vocal booklet. So I uh, gave him a clean case, put the uh, alt vocal in there, and gave him another clean case. So uh, those are all his. Whether you want to say that's much of a fail trade, you could argue that. Uh, it cost 18 for shipping it to him. So uh, a little pricey, but... Uh, not a big deal. I'd rather them see a nice home than go to a landfill. Ooh, moving on, moving on. Uh, here was something I got just before going to visit my sister. I got a DS for $5. But not just a DS. I got the amazing, elusive... Oh, yeah, nothing. That that was with it. But there, there was something else with it. And uh, I have no experience with this. And I actually got to show it off to a viewer in a private video. If you're not familiar with this, this is a piracy card. It has a little SD card. It has crap loads of games on it. Now, I hate piracy. A lot of people know that. And I only resort to emulation stuff of stuff I have physically owned or bought in some way to justify the fact that I'm playing an emulated version for either convenience of recording on my channel, streaming, or to simply play it in English. Uh, worst case scenario, I will only play stuff that is severely old and no profit and there's no way to buy it or anything. Uh, but that is something that was more like when I was in middle school and beforehand as opposed to now where I really, 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 really get the game in some form or fashion before even doing that. But anyway, uh, point is, uh, this is a pirate cart. And uh, this, this actually works. It has no power cable, but it does work. It had a USB cable that lets it charge. I don't know if the GBA slot is. I haven't tested that. But this actually works. It's in decent condition. I paid 5 bucks, so I got a pirate cart that has like, I don't know, 40 games on it. And obviously this has no value at all. But um, yeah, that, that was kind of really something odd to find on thrifting. Not only just... Because I mean... Even the original DS stuff, um, old old DS stuff, um, you know, usually at least 20 bucks. So I got it for 5 bucks in a pirate card. Now, um, I was debating whether I wanted to keep this because I have no interest in piracy. But I do know there are some translated games like the Saga 2 and 3 from the original Game Boy series that came out in America as Final Fantasy Legend, which were really Saga 1, 2, and 3, the very four Saga games. Uh, 2 and 3 that had uh, special uh, enhanced uh, remakes on the original DS have translations. And I was wondering, you know, maybe I could somehow use that for this, but I haven't looked into that. So I'm going to hold on to this. Maybe I'll be able to use that. Also, that uh, Tingle game with the Wizard of Oz theme kind of crap is also getting a translation. So maybe this actually could come useful in the future, maybe for me, for other uh, more legitimate means. Let's see. Um, that's for my sisters. Like I said, I'm going to try to show off all this stuff for my sisters to get a feel. So, um, some stuff I got through trading, uh, more GameStop stuff. This looks like a real interesting hybrid of a third person to a real-time strategy game on the PSP. Looks interesting on the back. Haven't tried it yet, obviously. Always so many games, but, um... It looks pretty good. He only won $20 for it. So I got it again for posters and ad stuff. Always a good deal. All my time in a dumpster. <laughs> um, now there's a bunch of other games that came with this. This actually was a purchase from him. I hadn't purchased anything with actual money in a long time from him. Um, I didn't have anything that week. And I had some extra money. So I thought, ah, if there's something interesting, maybe I'll buy it. I wasn't really expecting anything though. But um, this came from, well, the Final Fantasy drinks. Uh, he had a bunch of Japanese games that came with those. Now, that wasn't really much interesting. Uh, Willie, I just got a deal with him so I could get the Wario game that was on the uh, GameCube because uh, that's a little expensive. So I got a bunch of Japanese games, the Wario game, and those as two gifts with it. So uh, I'm not sure what Harvest Moon game this is. It's probably available in English. It might not. I don't know, but it's a Japanese uh, PS2, uh, P uh, PSP, PSP, PSP. Eh. Pui, kapui. Let's see, moving on, moving on. Oh dear. Uh, just yesterday, sadly, was very low thrifting for me personally. Uh, for my mom, it was awesome because I found uh, they had uh, 
half price on everything, so all the games, as long as they didn't do any of the weird out of the top of their head pricing, uh, was a dollar each because games are supposed to be two dollars. So, uh, got a whole 12 find and hide games. Uh, she likes those. Uh, the only thing I found out of that was a uh, police quest SWAT from Sierra, and uh, I only had a few things to give. Uh, mom and pop stores for a trade so I just got uh, this look kind of like something like Jet Set Radio with grinding and stuff uh, don't know if it's any good but eh, I just picked out something that didn't have much Z and now the week before I went to my sister's was pretty decent on thrifting. Uh, here was something odd. I'm, as far as I understand, I believe this is supposed to be a teacher of some Japanese uh, alphabets or that. I, I remember seeing it before on Play Asia, I believe, and I found this at a Goodwill. That was very odd. <laughs> Not exactly something I would normally see at a Goodwill. A sealed copy of the Puppeteer for six bucks at the Goodwill. Very good. That had the Cradle Ico helped make that. Um, I've never heard of this game. I don't recall hearing this game. It's from Sierra. Uh, it looks like a no point click game. I've never heard of it. It was just a doll and it's in great condition so I can't complain about that. And then uh, this one I didn't really have to buy. I have some of these on GOG. This is from the Cradles of Amnesia, The Darkest Descent. Um, so this actual version of the game is probably not very usable. But uh, I figured why not. Uh, I could burn the game from the GOG account and use it as an official case for it. Uh, GameStop. Had a really cheap 3DS game, uh, Ghost Recon, on the 3DS for like uh, I think it was either a dollar nine nine or two dollars nine nine. Uh, it's a tactics style game, so I was like, why not? <laughs> it's cheap as hell, so sure, why not? Um, at the Samaritan store, I also got a pretty nice amount of PS1 games, uh, some boxing games. Uh, they will. Just uh, two bucks. So, luckily, I had one of the good walkers who actually know what the fuck the pricing is. Now, this is a Dreamcast game I've been trying to get a long time, but uh, I was like, eh, might as well. Uh, this, I never heard of this. I looked it up on YouTube on my phone. It looks uh, like a third person kind of MMO kind of thing, but uh, one of those ones where you're just playing by yourself, so kind of like Elder Scrolls and a third person kind of thing is what it looked like. Uh, Colony Wars, it was okay condition, so I thought, why not? And then this uh, puzzle game on the original Wii heel. Um, two bucks, figured, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's see, uh, let's try find a other Japanese games here. Let's see, that was from my sisters. Oh, so many things here. See, that's for my sisters, 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 sisters. Yeah, I want to try to show all this. And this, I do have one really nice thing I want to show off that I got at my sisters. Um, a viewer of mine actually talked about when uh, I was doing Alundra. Right here. These should be the, all of them. Yes. Okay. These and this. Okay. Now... I got Sai Hill, Sai Hill here on a different occasion here. I'm not, I mean, uh, I find it odd, uh, the artwork kind of looks like the chick from uh, Sai Hill 2 though, but this is Sai Hill 1, and um, he just gave me this. He doesn't like horror games, so he gave me that, which is odd because when I got all these ones, he told me he needed those to justify the price differences or that. Uh, I believe he charged me $60, so uh, I got the WarioWare Inc. Mega Party Games for the GameCube. It's in good condition, so that alone was worth it. But I basically have all these except for this Tetris game. There was a Tetris game, Japanese God of War 2, Japanese Silent Hill 3, Japanese Fatal Flame 2, and Japanese Okami, which has a really nice, very nice cover art there, to be honest. Um... I ironically, of course, own all these, and of course, uh, the Xbox original version of uh, Fatal Frame 2 has all the endings in it, which is 
of course, the odd thing that's always been with those. Oh, so much stuff. Uh, too much. And we're still not even done yet. We're still not done yet. Okay, let's see. Some more trade stuff here. Let's see this. Keep those go. And here's some of the last stuff I traded uh, for. Uh, stuff I got from GameStop, uh, GameStop stuff. Uh, top spin for the original Xbox. Uh, King of Fighter. Uh, this one is King of Fighter 11. It only has its booklet, sadly. It was kind of in eh condition. Uh, Robotech for the PlayStation 2, uh, which, uh, if you remember correctly, I believe I had gotten, yeah, Xbox original, that, this one's in better looking condition, uh, that one wasn't bad, and I will explain what was up with that, uh, I also got a Jet, Jet Set Radio, uh, uh, Sega GT 2002 combo pack, I have the original Jet Set Radio, uh, for the Xbox that isn't the combo pack, um, I just got this for the sole purpose of trading or selling or that, uh, he had extra copies, like I said, I'm kind of getting to the point where it doesn't have as much new for me, so I'm going to probably just pick out things to sell and kind of get profit that way off things that I find from GameStop. Uh, this, Kobe's Epic Yawn, was sealed, I got it at a Goodwill, um, I forgot where it was, 10 bucks, I think 9.99. so that was a very good deal. Uh, I had opened it because I was wondering uh, if the book, because it's really heavy, it has a very thick book in it. So that was a very nice find. Uh, before I went to my Elkers, uh, uh, before I went to my sister's, let's see, where's the other ones? There's a few other ones here. That, this, 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 and it is. Yeah. Before I went to my sister's, um, there was uh, the flea market thing that was near uh, the um, army base near my parents, and. As um, if you remember several videos before, uh, more at the beginning this year, a friend of mine told me about that. For they do it twice a year. I went to the first one this year, and that was pretty good. It was pretty good, and oops, I actually hit my cable there, but I'll make sure that it doesn't fall out. Uh, that was pretty good. I got a few nice pickups from that. Uh, I went to the one that was uh, during the end portion of the year, and I got a lot more stuff on it, I believe. I uh, got an cool one for the PS1. Uh, it's in kind of iffy condition, to be honest, but it has all its artwork in it, so I figured, uh, worst case scenario, I have its original case, if I could find a bill CD. Uh, that, I got in a deal with Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast in good condition. And it had Evolution 2, which I always have for the Dreamcast. I got those and Bleach Volume 57 in great condition, all for uh, $5. So that was just $5, so that's a pretty good deal on those, I'd say. Uh, the Darkness 1 on the PS3 in good condition. Uh, I think that was uh, $3 I paid. Uh, old lady had these old PC games for... Uh, uh, wait a lot. Uh, she won 50 cents for that one, 75 cents for that, the expansions. And then, um, I can't number, here it is. Uh, they won $5 for F Zero on the GameCube. Now, that's pretty good price as far as I understand. Uh, a lot of original and Nintendo IP games cost a lot, but look at this. The case is destroyed with the corner of the artwork. But the. The game is in great condition, and I was like, well, this is an original Nintendo IP. I'm like, the disc's in perfect condition, too. It's like, you know, usually most Nintendo games still retain at least a $30 price tag, if not more, a lot of times. So, I was kind of like, I'm not 100% sure how much this is worth, and I haven't actually looked. I think I'll, I'll probably do that after this video, see if I actually ended up with a good deal on that. But um, I haggled it to $4 because it damaged, so I, I got $1, $1 off, so, eh. Because, I mean, I have to replace the case. That, that sucks. That sucks. That really that, does suck. Ew, so much stuff everywhere. Okay, uh, let's see what else is left here. Um... 
Now these were literally the day before I went up to my sister's. I went thrifting because I, I was staying the night that day. So I came up um, at the Samaritan store. I got a driver for the PS1. And at the Goodwill I found, I never heard of this. And who, uh, Age Tech, uh, Rising Zam, the Samurai Gunman for the PS1 has no, uh, no artwork for the booklet, but it does have the back. It looks like something, it reminds me of that PS2 game where you play as a samurai in the Old West. Um, and I'm not sure if I can see who originally, because, uh, Age Tech published a lot of Japanese games, so I'm sure this was made by some obscure Japanese company. I don't see anything in particular on the back there, though. Um, looked interesting. And then Star Wars Master of the uh, Terriera... I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, whatever. It's a fighting game. I, I was like, it was $3 at the Goodwill. It's in good condition. So I was like, yeah, why not? It's just a fighting game. Why not? Why not? And then, before I get to my sister stuff, which has lots of nice goodies, yeah. Also, before I went to my sister's, I bid it on two, two eBay bids from the exact same person. Now, let's see. Here we go. So, originally what I was getting was these two games. This this. Now, I can't remember what the English title is. Um, these are all both available in English. Uh, they're a little pricey, though. And I got these insanely dirt cheap, so I can just play English translation versions, or obviously the English versions. So, uh, I got these really cheap. That uh, They are first-person dungeon crawlers on the original Game Boy. That's very odd. Just uh, just look up that one. I can't remember what the title was off the top of my head. I saw it in an obscure video. Uh, RPGs I never heard of that war in English. So that is actually something surprising to me a lot of times these days. And then I got a Shimatense, uh bid from the same guy. Um, as you all should know, anyone watches my Let's Play stuff, that uh, I did do the last Bible, which was called Revelations in America. Uh, we had the uh, enhanced uh, Game Boy version, uh, the color version. Uh, this is the original one, but there's no real differences between them aside from the color adding and maybe a little touch up on the spice. Um, we never got the last Bible 2. And, um, I can't remember what this one was off the top of my head, but it's also a part of the last Bible series. Um, I think it's another Bible, or... I can't remember. But, um, it's one of the other entries, and then neither of these came in English, so that was why I got it. Again, these were also super cheap, so I figured he was doing that at the same time. There was stuff I needed, so it's like... So, there you go. I got four original Game Boy games were cheap, I think. Probably a total of seven dollars or something, and they have free shipping too. So it's like, it's like, how can I look away from that? And they all came with a nice, simple little baggie here. So that always helps. So if there wasn't already really good stuff and all that, if there was already good stuff in that, we're gonna get some nice stuff. So first, another book I got. Uh, this was only two bucks, and it was sealed. Uh, Operation Darkness is official guidebook. Um, I have this game. It got really bad reviews. It's kind of interesting, in my opinion, though. Um, it's one of those... It's different. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But it was only two bucks. It was sealed. I was like, sure, why not? Why not? So anyway, on to goodies. Goodies. So at the... At the Target they had up there, because I got the, my nephew uh, Disney Infinity, um, my sister's husband and my dad went to Target and got some Disney Infinity stuff, and my dad was asking me about stuff about that. So when we were all out checking out shops, and I said, go ahead, go to Target. I'll, you know, explain a little bell about all this toy crap. And they had clearance owl. Um, well, not really clearance owl, a small shelf full of clearance stuff. And there was one more here. 
So I got three things, and these were all dirt cheap. So first, for three bucks, I got a dual pack for the PSP. Now, yes, these are very old PSP games, mainly, but brand new sealed for three bucks. Three bucks sealed. So it was like, can't wait to pass that up. I don't have either of these two. At least I don't think I have that so calm. I know I don't have that, though. I might maybe have that. Whatever, a spare case, whatever. Three bucks. And then... Sealed copy of Ape Escape on the Loose, which is a port of the original Ape Escape on the PSP, for $2.99. Again, three bucks. Three bucks. Now, again, that's also really old, but it's three bucks for a sealed brand new game, so it's kind of hard to pass it up. Now, here's what's really nice this was a dual pack from Walkstar. GTA 4 Liberty City Complete, which has both DLCs, the uh, the Lost in the Dam and the Ballad of Gay Tony, which I don't have the DLC. I have GTA 4 on the 360, but I never got the DLC, so this was nice. And it comes with a map and all that. And then Max Payne 3, and these were in a dual pack for uh, I think it was $9.99 so that was two triple A games $9.99 brand new sealed can't complain again about that either now through the uh, they have these stores in the whole area that are called uh, Gamo and they're a franchise not a super big franchise like GameStop but they have them in different areas in America um Pretty okay, not the greatest places, but they're not the worst either. And they carry everything, even the 3DO and all that obscure shit. So they would take anything game related. Uh, interestingly, I'm also considering maybe taking some of my stuff I find, because they, they do take anything. They, they've had separate soundtracks, the little art books from collector editions and things. They even had a sign that says they take broken things. So I might consider next time going up bringing some of my stuff with me, see what they might give for to that. Or maybe give them a call and ask them. But either way, here's some stuff I got. They had also a special, um, I think it was buy four for tw uh, 25 and five for 20 or vice versa or something like that. Basically, as long as you were getting stuff that was like, six to nine dollars and they had to be under ten dollars so like seven to nine ninety nine you you were making a deal there then but uh now what if we'll show the games that i got that weren't part of that deal because they're primarily the more interesting thing here so I've been trying to look for this. Uh, this ain't anything too wowing. It's a uh, Gauntlet the Seven Sorrows. I've always found it in bad condition. Um, this this was a very nice condition one yeah, for twelve dollars. I was like, sure, why not? I've been needing to get it because uh, I still that was one. I think that's basically the only Gauntlet game aside from the uh, PC uh, version that has no physical or DRM free version, which. Uh, Makes me sad. Uh, finally, I got a PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. A little more pricey than I would have wanted, but it was decent condition. And considering the deal and stuff, I was just kind of like, yeah, maybe, maybe I'd get because I've been, I've been wanting to do. Let's play that. Now, heal, heal is probably the best find out of all this. Um, this is a Sega Sound game. Yes, Sega Saturn. How often do I get to show that being added in my collection? Legend. Of the Oasis for the Sega Sound, complete with its original case, booklet, and the disc is in absolute perfect condition for 20 bucks. I don't know how much it goes for complete online, but I think I will say that is a done deal. I will be safe to say. And before I show off the other stuff I made uh, out with the uh, 2020 deal, um, there was a pawn shop I went to. A uh, friend of mine always told me to get wage. You know who you are. I He just basically called it um, Borderlands by the Doom Cradles, basically. Um, it has a sticker for $6, but he sold it to me for 4 So, okay, it was complete, good condition. So, go. <laughs> Now, the West stuff uh, that I made, let's see, I got five, so I got these for $25. So, it was Pokemon Ranger, 
895 complete. Deadhead Fred for the PSP, 695 complete. Uh, it's a little wrinkly on the plastic, you might kind of notice that in the... So I might give it a new case of that. I got this for laughs, uh, Secret Service for the 360. This is a very uh, generic first person shooter. I just figured why not. Something to laugh at. Uh, Blade X or Blades X or Blade or X Blades. I'm not sure which one's supposed to be first. Um, this was criticized because it has an over sexualized female character. It's hacks, hack and slash, blah blah blah. Nothing too complex. Eight bucks. Eh. And then uh, a double case uh, Sega Superstars Tennis and the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, both in excellent condition in that. Now, here's what's funny about this. Um, on the primary shelf where they had all the 10 under games for this deal, uh, they had the separate versions of both of these. This was $7.95 and this was $11. So I was like, they must have just simply priced this base off uh, just this and didn't even consider that. So... I just made out with this one. So I got an extra game uh, and basically for free when they actually had separate prices for them. So I actually got... And I don't know if they meant to do that on purpose. I don't know. Maybe the person traded in just that. And I just got the version that came with the standalone one they had on the shelf somewhere else in the normal area. I don't know. Uh, I know when he was looking for the discs, he was uh, he shouted. He said, why does this have an extra thing in the mail? I said, look at the back. He's like, oh. So, I don't know. That's their job to take care of. This is supposed to have two games. And that's what it was being sold for. So, that's what I got. So, I got that for 25 So, if you add all that together... At least that should be. I'm pretty sure that was 425. So, you know, those those are eight. That's nine. That's basically in two seven. So that that's not too bad for uh, six games basically. If you count the arcade thing, they're all complete in that. So that's not too bad. And uh, that should be everything new I just got. Uh, since the last time I obviously showed off everything. A uh, very big haul of stuff. Uh, was pretty good. I was really happy finding the Legends of Oasis. Um, I've been getting these because uh, these are supposed to be very uh, Legend of Zelda ish, basically Sega's uh, Legend of Zelda. And um, I have Beyond on the collection, the Sega collection on the 360. And I've been trying to look for the Game Gear one too. There's one on the Game Gear. So I'm, I'm totally, I think. I think those are the only three, but I might be mistaken. I'm not that knowledgeable of the series too much. I haven't played any of them, but I've been getting them to... Uh, and when I was playing Alundra on uh, Twitch, uh, which I, I continue to do, I, I plan on doing more Alundra. I just haven't felt like it lately, sadly. Uh, but uh, I had a viewer asking me if I would play this, and... Um, if I can get this HD recording device I want, because it has a plug-in for normal uh, video, uh, yellow, red, and white, um, I will be able to do my older retro stuff then. Um, I can use the VHS track for systems that don't have those naturally. Um, but And that will be good. That will be good. Because Sega Saturn is really hard to emulate. It's very bad. There's a reason almost virtually none of them have been ported off the system. Because it was a hard system to program for. And it's a hard system to get them to emulate out of. <laughs> but big haul. Very nice stuff. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Because this is surely, uh, yeah, this is almost 40 minutes. So uh, I'm not going to blabble about update stuff. Things have just been pretty normal. Streams, I know streams have been a bit... Uh, still happening on Friday, but they haven't been all day. Just been busy with real life stuff. And like I said, I plan on continuing on more Lundra. Um, so that's it. Nothing really more to add. I'll leave it at that. Let me know if there's anything you thought was interesting in that. I think it was a pretty good haul of stuff for my sisters in that. Very happy to get the Oasis game and the Sega Saturn. Hope that was a good deal. And I need to go look up on if I got a good deal on the F-Zero. See you next time. Praise the sun.